has the scout on. Still has done an absolutely beautiful job of economic harassment. Might want to send... Oh, it's mines! Oh, picking off some more Dragoons. So uh, every little bit of those mines helping. Actually, an eBay planning itself down the Tovacock position. I think Jamie's actually thinking of taking that up for himself. Uh, putting on a pile on here. But I think Minus is having none of that. Moving up with forces right now. Should have his sciences alongside. Is all going to lose that eBay at that 12 o'clock position. But really wants to make sure Jambi does not continue expanding. He's going to be on... F he's going to get his fourth base up soon. And Minus needs to be able to pick up his four base... Blah, bath, bath, yes. Um, I roll my R's. No, I don't. Uh, two one upgrade so far. He has been upgrading for two armies for quite a while. Arbiter gonna get right inside the main. Huge recall here. A lot of dragoons. This is gonna just run away for the lives. A lot of mines, but they're nowhere close to the damn dragoons. So they're gonna be. Oh, nice EMP going off though. But armies go down and tanks come in from the back. Science vessels. Uh, Trying to put down with well, those defensive metrics, just another EMP, EMP coming off. But yeah, just we're trying to repair the command as well because it's still mining going on inside the base. So you want to uh, definitely save the command or keep that alive if possible. But I think Jamie actually should be able to take this down. Science is the only thing here ready for the command are going to go down. So Jagoon's going to take a while to pick those off actually with the Arbiter support. But still, nice recall there from Jamie at the right time. Is going to lose all these Jagoons soon enough. But they're always delaying, also delaying Midas from going out for an aggressive action. Don't think he's actually picking up the 12 o'clock base for himself, just actually blockading it in. Just put down a pile and not quite sure whether to put anything else down. Midas is going to pick up the low right hand position. I think Jambi knows what's happening. I think he's running right straight door there. And uh, Midas is actually not have anything in that position, though. So if Jambi decides to go for the low right hand position, he's going to find himself in a bad position. Actually, he's just going to engage here. Tight's going to siege up. Vulture's at the front. Scan's coming off. Are there going to be enough? EMP going to go off. Oh, little do it. Too late. EMP goes off the armor, but a stasis right on top of the science of those tanks. Absolutely beautiful stasis. Tanks gonna go down. There was a uh, vulture right there glitching like crazy. But uh, that's not a fact right now. Mining here at the lower end of position. And mine is gonna lose some here. Uh, tanks gonna siege up. So at the very least, he's gonna be able to force those forces back away from the mineral only. But he desperately needs to go out there and save that lower right. As if he's coming off the line, being killed at all time, uh, all over the place. Very unfortunate for him that he had stasis came in just a little, little bit too late. Jamie already cannoned up like crazy. That the cocoa position fourth can come up. He's also gonna also gonna put up a nexus there. But you know, Midas losing the command center at the lower end of a position. Not gonna go in and save that. Gonna yeah has to wait for his stasis to wear off and pick up all the forces there. So he's gonna need to retake that lower right hand base. Pronto go out there retake. It's still very much in the game. Um, well, Midas still might actually go, d decide to go for something a little bit more crazy like what he did in the first set. He just out of nowhere went. You know what? I don't care what my position is. Just went in for a push and he won. It was absolutely insane. He needs to do more some uh, some more of that vulture play. He needs to try to sneak some vultures in at the upper left hand. Twelve o'clock is uh, yeah fool's errand for vultures, but the upper left hand position still very much open. Still a lot of space to deal with. Planning down a humongous minefield across the middle. Actually going to go push into the Natural Expo again. Still should, uh, we'll have a lot of its shields back, but sh should still be heavily damaged overall. Uh, yeah, going to just vultures running right up that ramp. You know, I don't care what you're going to do. Uh, mines, mines, mines. Ooh, look at all them minefields. Picking up a lot of stuff. Picking up a lot of those zealots. Yeah, just they're desperately running into the desperately trying to clear up a little bit. But a lot of forces actually went down there. But Jamie apparently going to go for a counter attack. Going to see what Midas managed to do here. Oh, nice stasis. Nice blockading and making sure none, no more of the forces managed to come up. So Midas is going to have to be able to do some damage while he has. But I think he's actually going to be able to go. Already picked off the net tracks, but we actually might be able to go towards that mineral only if Jamie's actually do some damage there. Now Midas really all he has to do right now. The be more critical factor and fight this back. Is it going to be on the epic mine track? No! <laughs> mine stop up to the tank. Another mine going to go off. Actually pick up the second tank. Oh god, that's absolutely insane. Oh dear lordy. Midas Mineral has picked up two, picked off two nexuses. Nexuses, yes, something like that. Picked off two Nexus. I think somebody explained that to me that it's actually just Nexus. Just Nexus, no matter what. Anyway, uh, another Stace is going off in the science vessel. One more science vessel still in there. Not quite sure if it has a VNP in it. But uh, Midas actually going to push out down all the way. Still think he's blockaded. I th still think his most of his troop is blockaded from going up that ramp because of a stasis. But he's now in the production line of Jambi, so he's actually putting on ramp pressure. Still has a lot of tanks in there. And going to actually manage to fight back and defend his mineral only. Still on three bases. His main is not mining at this point. Actually, just sitting these forces here. I don't, I'm not quite sure why Midas is not utilizing them. He's actually doing a lot of damage with just the force he has already inside of my, uh, uh, inside of Jambi's base. Jambi has... Uh, kind of a skeleton crew out uh, across the map right now. He not really managed to do anything whatsoever with it. Midas 
Not going to pick up any bases, though, but he still needs to go out there and do some damage. Going to go out base hunting. Actually, just going to contain Jambi inside here with tanks, vultures, and science vessels. And actually just roam up to the upper left hand with his tanks. So Midas definitely will be, will, still might be able to take his EMP. Going to go on both those Arbiters. No stasis whatsoever for Jambi. Meanwhile, now inside the mineral, only going to be able to stasis two tanks. So still might be able to accomplish something there. But he is, meanwhile, going to lose that upper left hand. Those cannons will go off momentarily. They might still do some damage, but they will go down, and that Nexus will go down. We're going to see what the Midas is going to be able to, after that, just mill all the way to the 12 o'clock. But Midas looking like he's in a slightly better position. Actually going to try to break, Jamie going to try to break out of his base with Zealots first. Trying to get as many mines as he can. Getting close to the tanks. Another EMP going off. I think Jamie actually will be able to break out this time. But meanwhile, he's lost a third base. Only mining at the 12 o'clock right now. Midas not really very good economically either. Still think he's mining at the mineral only though. I don't think uh, Jamie actually took that down. But he really needs to pick up a new base for himself. Still has a couple of stasis tanks and then a bunch of mines. Uh, a bunch of his CVs. Middle armor not doing anything. So uh, actually going to start sieging up the tall cut position. Scanning up those can, those cannons. Cans? Those cannons going to go up. Uh, cans. That's, 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 uh, or is that pretty? Oh, losing a lot of forces there to mines again. Cans. I think Americans, that's what they pronounce, called the film festival. GG from Jang B. Oh, uh, I was actually starting to talk about the con film festival, but Midas taking out Jang B. Around a 16. Beautiful game. Just, just as I said, Midas gonna, oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Is he gonna, is he gonna go re respect? Is he gonna re go respect? Or, okay, I thought he was gonna, like, go and shake hands or something. But apparently his locker room is in the, not behind, but, like, way over here. Um, so never mind. But, yeah, I was exactly said that uh, maybe he'll just go for a massive push just right here. Like he did in the first set. He did that. And just he had enough forces to do with him with that. Despite delays. Despite Jang B holding him. Jang uh, Jang B holding him back beautifully. Still Midas managed to bring himself the win there. So absolutely beautiful play for him. Really stoked to see him in the round of eight. Wow. Uh, absolutely stoked. Look forward to see what he plays there and uh, whether whether he's going to bring us any more awesome craziness. Yeah, they actually, yeah, right away Q&A. Uh, really wish in these times I could speak Korean, but uh, but I'm guessing I'll be able to like read about that online somewhere. So, yeah. So GG, guys. Uh, Grats to Midas. Um, absolutely beautiful counter there. Picked off three bases. Just the entire economy of Jambi is in shambles. And still managed to somehow fight back. Despite Jambi doing a decent job of breaking out. So. Oh god. Round of 16 is done. Moving on to round of 8 tomorrow. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I need another beer. GG guys.